Okay, this is a story from yesterday. The Spiral Reignited Trilogy players who are for the next version will still need to download the big Day 1 Path of release. This is Activision being greedy again. Activision taking the dicks out and basically screwing us over. This is what they do. But I don't want 50 gigabytes. That's what they said. Spiral Ignited Trilogy was said, this week scheduled for September is now being released next month. I already ha- have the game, pre-ordered the game. At this time, it was used the DUA would have activated to have all three games available on disc. But because the publisher released, we announced that the only the first game would be on disc and the physical version to have to download the other two remaining games. Unfortunately, the DUA did help. But you're going to need to have download a big update on day one. Activision confirmed IGN that the disc version comes with the full game of Spiral the Dragon, but also from Spiral 2 and Spiral Years of the Dragon. As it is clarified, the crew of the day one update was busy, we put on some stays for other games, but Activision did not give the exact count, and we will not be able to yes, yeah, speed out how big the update is going to be. Activision, get your heads out of your asses, okay? It's not, it's not, the, it's not as bad as, um... Spyro, no, not Spyro, Battle Woman Field 5 being released this month. Yeah, I'm gonna whip on that game alongside Pokemon Let's Go, but really? This? You're telling me you do hate the game, but you can't put the freaking games on the disc. This is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. I do not care what. I, you guys said what people say. This is just activism that's being so stupid that they don't even know what they're doing. I don't like, uh, day one patch. We play the other two games. You could have just put the games on the freaking disc. What type of garbage is this? I would still, of course, play the game and they'll probably still be good games. But seriously, activism, what the hell is this? A 50 day, a day, a day one patch? For both of the other games? Wow, Activision. This is greed right here. Absolute greed. And you wonder why. It's not as fun as hard as EA. You wonder why no one buys your games anymore. And you wonder why. That no one buys games from freaking Activision anymore. Unless it's a Blizzard game. Like Overwatch. So you don't have to pay like a 50 gigabyte pass to play that. Nope. You don't have to do that. But Spyro... Old games that don't really make that cost that many gigabytes should not be able to be so so have been ported easily. Why right over the game will still be good regardless of day one patch, and the game will still probably be fine if you have to download it. You just have to wait extra and really, there's no point. There's really no point in complaining about this. Why? Why is why is why why should I not be complaining about this? Cause you have to download all the games anyways on your Xbox One and PlayStation Four. You still have to download the games anyways, so there's really no point in complaining about this. But it still is just annoying. They couldn't put all three games on one disc. They get they to even they even said oh we were two more months, but no. They they decided to do this and. And down or not, we need to support the game as much as we can. We want to continue seeing more Spiral games. Or the course, the game still has massive pre-order sales. Around 200k on VZ Tots for the PS4 and around 50k for the Xbox One. So the game is probably not going to fail. It's going to probably succeed and it's probably going to sell lots of copies. As lots of people are fond of the franchise alongside Crash Bandicoot. Or they'll probably be getting that game soon on the Xbox One as well. Goodbye.